apostles of scripture that is found in our Lord's gospel as it is recorded by St. Matthew. The 26th chapter, 14th and 15th verses. When I shall have finished, I'm going to ask you to stand and join in with me and help me to sing, Oh, for a closer walk with God. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? I will deliver him unto you. And they covenant with him for thirty pieces of silver. I'd like to talk to you from this theme of this subject of foolish sale. A foolish sale. Let's say it together. A foolish sale. Will you stand please? Just one. 
one enemy yes, sir. is one too many. Yes, sir. Another three strange thing about it is that Judas had just left the table eating with the Lord. Yes, We say that everybody that eat from your table yeah. is not your friend. Well, yeah. He left the table and went out to the enemy yes. of Jesus, yeah. the chief priest, and made an agreement with them to betray Christ. Yes. And this is what he said, what will you give me? Yes. Judas was one of the twelve, and yet one of them had the devil in him. Yes, if you remember, the twelve was Christ's chosen friends. Yes. That had the privilege of special favors. Amen. They were his constant followers. Amen. That had the benefit of his most intimate conversation. Yes, and they really had all the reason in the world to love him and be true to him. Yes, Yet one of them betrayed him. Yes, Isn't it strange that how as much as you've done for some folks yes. that they ought to be true. Yes, that they ought to love you. Yes, and yet they turn to be your enemy. Yes. There is no bond of duty or gratitude that will hold a person who has the devil in them. Uh -huh. They did not sin for Judas. No, no, no. They did not make any proposal with him. No, no. For in the first place, they didn't really feel like that one of Jesus' disciples, one among the twelve, would betray him. No, they didn't, they didn't feel that. But there were those among Christ and among us today that just waited for the opportunity. And if they get the opportunity, amen, they'll do you harm. Yes, and the only reason why they haven't done it, they just haven't had the chance. Yes, All right. All right. Not because they really love you. Not because they're really your friend. But they're waiting on the chance. So Judah said to them, what will you give now this was a foolish sale. Yeah. Judas promised to deliver him to them without any uproar of the people and without danger. He said, if you turn it over to me, I won't even let them get upset. I can do it in such a manner that it will cause no disturbance. For you see, they did not meddle with Jesus in the public. No, no, no. And they certainly didn't know where to find him in private. Yes. For all of this matter rest in the hand of Judah. Yes, yes, yes. Hear me today. Yes, yes. 
for he knew where Jesus was. For many times he had been with Jesus. He had been with him on most secret occasions. Even when he went and didn't allow others to go. He knew the place to find him. He knew the hour that he would be there. For it is your so-called friend. Hear me today. Know where you go. They know what you'll wear. They know what route you take. They know how long you stay. They know what car you'll be riding. I admit it. You see, they have all of the information. You don't have to worry about those out there. You have to watch the one that's close to you. The reason why they know because they've been with you sometimes. said, come on with me, and I'll deliver him unto you. How will we know that it is Jesus? And he said to them, the one I kiss is he. Hold him fast. Don't let him loose. He's powerful. He's clever. He's strong. You better hope yes, once you get it. Yes, Judas asked in consideration of the understanding, now if I do this, what will you give? Yes. This was the only thing that made Judas betray his master. Yes, he had hoped to get money for it. Yes. And some people will do anything to get some money. For his master had not given him any provocation, though he knew from the beginning that he was a devil. Jesus showed the same kindness to Judas that he did to all the rest of the disciples. He put no disgrace upon him that he might disoblige him. He had placed him at a post of duty that placed that pleased him. He had made him the purse bearer or the treasurer. Though he had embezzled some money, if you please, from the common stock. For he is called a thief in John 12 and 6. When Mary had anointed the feet of Jesus with a very costly ornament, it was Judah that said, Why not this ornament be sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? He wasn't really interested in the poor. No, no, no. no but he was holding the purse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was interested in his own benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because he cared for the poor. No, no, no. But he held the bag. Yeah, yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah. Listen, if you please. Yeah. It was not the hatred of his master. Uh-huh. He hadn't had any quarrel with him. But purely the love of money. People don't have to really hate you. But if they see where they can benefit themselves, if they can get a hold to some money, they'll do you in. Can I get a witness? Not the lack of money, but the rule of the love of money. If you please, is the root of all evil. Here is the body. Which the chief priest made with him. They covered.
covenant with him for 30 pieces of silver. Yes. Yeah. Which is in our money today yeah. $17.50. Yeah. Judah showed that he was willing to take whatever they would give him for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Judah did not want to trade high. No, no. He is afraid that he might lose his deal. Yeah. Therefore, he was willing to take a little money. By yeah. him, say a little is better than none at all. Yeah. 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 You don't hear me. Yeah. By the law, in Exodus 21, 32, uh -huh. 30 pieces of silver yeah. was the price of a slave. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Jesus was sold as a slave. Yes, yeah. yes, Satan tempted the Savior with that same bait one day yes, when he said to him, all of these things yeah. will I give you yeah. if you fall down and worship me. Yeah. But Jesus allowed himself to be tempted with it yeah. and asked what will you give me? Yeah. As if the master was some common stuff yeah. stuck on his head. Yeah. As if Jesus was something that he just wanted to get rid of. Yeah. Saying, what will you give me? Yeah. Oh, what a foolish sale. Yeah. What a foolish sale. Well, yeah. Selling and buying is a common commerce. Yeah. It is called, if you please, yeah. uh, it's all right to sell yeah. that which ought to be sold. Yeah. But let me tell you today Come that on. there was something got no business being sold. Yeah. There are some people that will sell anything, yeah. but something got no business being on the market. Yeah. You are not to sell your morals. No. You are not to sell out for principle. No. Huh? No. You are not to sell things like love. You can't sell it. No. For something that money can't buy. No, no. 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 Some people will sell their soul. Yeah. For the mighty dollar. Yeah. Some folks would even sell their mama yeah. 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 if they could get enough money for it. Yeah. Uh, selling and buying uh -huh. have been carried on yeah. in all of the ages of the world. Yeah. Uh, before money was known, yeah. the trade was called barters. Yeah. The butcher would exchange meat uh -huh. uh, with the baker for bread. Yeah. Somebody would uh, trade some eggs yeah. for some butter. Yeah. 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 Can I get a witness? Yeah. Somebody else would trade in some peas yeah. for some molasses. Yeah. And then another would trade. Uh, a mule for a car. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. They began to use silver. Yeah. It was used for money. Uh -huh. It was valued by its weight. Yeah. Money or corn uh -huh. was introduced by Augustus Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus, yeah. attention was called. Yeah. to the giving of tribute to Caesar. Yeah. He asked to see the corn. Yeah. And uh, I, heard I heard him say whose image yeah. is on the money. Yeah. And somebody yeah. told him Caesar. Yeah. He said, render unto Caesar yeah. the thing that are Caesar. Yeah. And unto God, the thing that be God. Why, a tenth of all of our earnings belongs 
close to God. I know you don't like this, but you see, that's the reason why we don't have any more tithers than we have now. But I want you to know all you have, the Lord gave it to you. The Lord gave it to you. But there are nobody sell just to be selling. They're selling in order to make a profit. A wise salesman buys at the lowest and sell at the highest. But here is the man saying, what will you give me? I will deliver him unto you. No fixed price, no real salesman would sell like that. For if you're a real salesman, you got a fixed price on all of your goods. Oh, Lord. You don't hear me this morning. Judas made a foolish sale. Yes, he did. For here is a fool that is trying to sell wisdom. The creature trying to sell the creator. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. The weak trying to sell the strong. A slave trying to sell his master. A sinner trying to sell a redeemer. Oh, yeah. The evil trying to sell the good. The unjust trying to sell the just. It was foolish. A foolish sale. The finite trying to sell the infinite. Humanity trying to sell divinity. The sick trying to get rid of his doctor. Oh, I feel a little better now. The weak man. I said a weak man is trying to sell his mind regulator. A man with a bad heart trying to sell a hard fixer. It's a bad sale. I know I'm right about it. It's a bad sale. But here is a criminal. Like so many of us, yeah. trying to get rid of his lawyer. Yeah. A dying man, yeah. Yeah, Lord. I said dying man, yeah. a dying man, yeah. trying to sell yeah. his dying bed maker. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I'd like to tell you, yeah. any time commodity yeah. is cheap, yeah. the sale ought to go up. Yeah. that there were only one saint, one Lord, and one Redeemer. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! I wish I could have been there. I'd like to told him who he really was. The blind man knew who he was, for he gave the blind man is sight. Yeah. The man at the pool yeah. knew who he was. Yeah. For 30 years, yeah. he stayed there. Yeah. For 30 years, yeah. he stayed right there. Yeah. But Jesus, yeah. can I get a witness? Yeah. Came by one day, yeah. told him to take up his bed yeah. and go on and walk. Yeah. The woman, yeah. oh,
Robert Gama. Oh, yeah. As I close this, I'd like to tell you, he's valuable. Yes, sir. For he's whole. Yes, yes. The world of me. Yeah. He walks yeah. with me. Yeah. yeah.
Jesus. 